One more story and then we'll finish up for today. It was said to be a painting of the Middle Ages. Whether it actually ever existed, nobody really knows, but there are rumors, there are stories that it did. It was a painting of the trial of Jesus. You can find the story in Matthew 27. You have Jesus standing on the portico and He was beaten and bruised and bloodied with a crown of thorns upon His head. To His right was Pontius Pilate who to his defense was trying to find a way to release Jesus because he did not find anything in him worthy of death. Next to Pontius Pilate was a basin of water that he would later use to wash his hands and say, do with him what you will, but I find no fault in him. In the background was the mob. The people that had been stirred up by the religious leaders and all of them had on horrible faces and they all had their fists pumping in the air. And you could tell from the expressions painted on them that they were all crying, Crucify Him! Crucify Him! And what is so intriguing about the painting is that it was said that if you took the time to look at the picture closely, and look at the people in the mob that before you were through, you would see yourself. You would see yourself in the mob. Holding up your fist. Crying out, crucify Him! Crucify Him! I do not know if that picture ever existed, but I do know that you need to realize this. There will be times in your life where something will happen to you. There will be an injustice in your life where you will want to ball up your fist and cry to the sky, crucify Him. You will burn with anger. And you may want revenge. And your wrath will start bubbling to the top. When that happens, Understand this, that God did not create you to be anybody else's judge, jury, or executioner. In fact, when you get into those places in life to where you could kill somebody, go to Matthew 12, 19. Where the scripture says, Vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith the Lord. And understand that the scales of justice will one day be balanced whether in this world or the world to come. You don't have to be someone else's judge, jury, or executioner. As much as you can, turn the other cheek. As much as you can, live peaceably with all men, understanding that God will balance the scales in His way, in His time.